The Johnsons decided to try another avenue out of their desperation. They reached out to Carolyn's old babysitter, Asami, to see if there may have been any connection to Carolyn. They decided to take her to the carnival as a special treat for all the help she had been in the past. Asami's little sister was also invited since she had been a close friend to Carolyn. The car ride had been awkward, especially when they asked if the girls had heard from Carolyn in any way. There was nothing that Asami or her sister could report to them, but they went to the carnival anyways, and even started to have a good time after a while. But then Asami started to get some strange feelings, especially in the darker places. At first, it sounded like light whimpering, and then it escalated. It seemed like she could hear Carolyn calling for help. Then she started seeing her in reflective surfaces. Suddenly, she saw the old woman, and it all became clear what was going on. Welcome back, friends and scoundrels. I'm Bran. And I'm Lynn. And this is episode four of the Poltergeist franchise, uh, where we still have yet to save Carolyn from the depths of the other side, as I've decided to call it for some reason. I'm worried she's going to be stuck there forever. Well, it's going to be interesting when we get the teenager Carolyn with the season series three box, and I try to make a sequel franchise. It'll be fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got some plans. I need to get to writing. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, I guess on to the boring bits. Location, Carnival of Blood. Special setup. Set up the game as normal with the following changes to the item decks when playing with Carnival of Blood. Set the three item trap cards aside and shuffle the remaining item cards. Deal out three decks of two item cards face down randomly and one item trap card face down to each deck. Then shuffle the three decks separately. Deal out one item card face up on top of each item deck. Return the unused item cards to the location box. When finished, you will have three item decks of four cards, each with an item trap hidden inside. Special rules. Carnival of Blood comes with two kinds of traps, item traps and terror traps. Item traps. There are three item traps randomly hidden within the item decks during setup. They will only be discovered by searching at a search location. Each item deck will have a single item trap, but you won't know where in the deck they are located. After successfully searching, if you draw an item trap, you must resolve it other, unless otherwise noted, i.e. you have Zappo with you. If your search revealed an item in addition to the item trap, you may still take the item, but must resolve the trap first. Item trap cards are discarded after they are resolved unless otherwise noted. Terror traps. There are three terror trap cards in the Carnival of Blood terror deck. They may be revealed during the killer phase when a terror card is drawn. When a terror trap card is drawn, resolve it like you would any other terror card. When the terror trap card instructs you to place the accompanying trap token, place it in the current space. The effects of the trap occur immediately and apply to you and any victims in your space. Victims are always killed, but each trap affects you differently. Refer to the terror trap reference card for each trap's specific effects. After resolving the trap's effects, finish resolving the terror trap card if there are any other effects to resolve and discard it as normal. Trap tokens are not discarded and remain on the board for the rest of the game. Each time you or a victim enters this space with a trap token, apply the trap effects accordingly. Enemies are not affected by trap tokens for any reason and completely ignore them. Killer, killer, killer. Special setup. Set up the game as normal with the following changes to the item decks when playing with the poltergeist. The Carolyn and Mr. Floppy item cards will always be included in the game, but neither will ever start the game face up on an item deck. Create the item decks as follows, or using your own method as long as you ensure the previous statement is true. Take 10 of the chosen location item cards instead of the normal 12 and shuffle them, then return the unused item cards to the location box. Set aside an item card for each item deck that will be needed. Take the remaining item cards and shuffle them together with Carolyn and Mr. Floppy item cards. Deal the cards face down into equal piles and place them in their slots above the board. Take the item cards you set aside and place one face up on top of each item deck. When finished, Mr. Uh, when finished, Carolyn and Mr. Floppy should be hidden within the location's item decks. The poltergeist has no health and cannot be attacked, damaged, or killed. Ignore any effects that would damage the poltergeist. Note, some action cards that inflict damage may still be useful against some of the poltergeist's terror cards. Since the poltergeist cannot be attacked, you do not win against her in the normal way. Instead, the only way to win against the poltergeist is to find Carolyn and to save her by reaching a safe space while she is with you. 
Boop, boop, boop. Carolyn may never be discarded or removed from the game, and any game effect doing so should be ignored. However, Carolyn may get shuffled back into an item deck, which is perfectly normal. I guess. I guess. Mr. Floppy has an effect that can be used if it is discarded, but cannot be used until the dark power is revealed. Mr. Floppy can never be discarded due to a game effect before the dark power card is revealed, or if the forgetting something epic dark power is in play. And scenario. Final girl, Asami. Check. She's over here somewhere. Setup, no laughing matter. Got that. Check my work. It seems off. We'll cover that in a moment. Items. Carolyn, still bear trap, knockout gas, trap, hidden cobra trap, Zappo, super lucky dice, telescoping 10 foot pole, crystal ball, found footage, first aid kit, energy drink, mysterious pills. So we do not have Mr. Flappy this game. So ignore all those rules that you probably skipped through. Probably. And are skipping through now. I would. <laughs> Events, four of them. Clowns Everywhere is a starting event. Did you follow me here? Also a starting event. Full Moon. How dangerous can it be? Carnival of Blood Terror Cards. I'm all wrapped up and I can't get free. It burns, it burns. Where the hell did the blades come from? Poltergeist Terror Cards. Psychic Confusion. Carolyn, where are you? The shadows are closing in times two. Where the hell did the storm come from? The ground is shaking. Did that clown just move? Dark Power, Eternal Despair, Finale, Relentless Assault. Special rules, this scenario has two starting events, which we will go over now. So, first one, Clowns Everywhere. During the upkeep phase, victims in the big top and any adjacent spaces panic. If they panic into the space with an enemy, they are killed immediately. Oh, jeez. And then, did you follow me here? Place four new victims in the big top. One of them is a special victim who is your plucky younger sibling. While the sibling is in your space, you may spend two time to reveal re-roll one die. If the sibling dies, plus two bloodlust. The sibling leaves play, discard this card. Alright. Alright. Time to time to do this. We're gonna save her this time. Sami, the faithful old babysitter. As I have decided she is. Alright, so I'm a oh I can't do anything here though yet. Where are we at? We're in things to astonish. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and try to do a focus Just right off the bat. Try to get that under control, that horror before it gets out of control, like it did last time. Woohoo! Good start. Yeah, it is. It makes me a little nervous now. <laughs> Never good when I have a good start. <laughs> uh, I think that's all I'm going to do because we heard Caroline in here and things are flying around or whatever. So we're going to try to find her. So we're going to take two searches. All right. Three, four. And I think a distraction and a close call. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So, uh, put that back. Killer's turn. Uh, target, victim, move, and stab. Big top it is. Do we want to just go ahead and do it? Mm, thematically? Thematically. Yeah, because being being my plucky little sister, she would be plucky. Have, she's having a connection with her too. It's a good thing I didn't write that yet. <laughs> um, so that's plus two in addition to the one that I'm taking for that, right? And dark powers revealed. Whenever you resolve a horror roll, lose one time for every one showing on a die after re-rolls. Oof. That's a no bueno. now. Just don't roll once. Alright. Terror card. The ground is shaking. Place the poltergeist in my space. 
and that's why things are flying around. Um, target a victim first, then stab. Nobody there, so would target me. And we are doing one damage. If you take any damage, all of your moves during the next action phase are panicked. Well, I don't think that's going to be much of an issue. Well, what a good time to get it then. Right? All right, and killed the little little sister. Just give her away. Yeah. Okay. All right, uh, panic phase. Nobody here to panic. Upkeep phase. I got one, two, three, four, five. This doesn't count as a horror roll, though, right? Right. This is a panicking. All right, so first one is a three. Two, five, six. Dang. Oh, I'm going to kind of cheat this a little bit. Luna Stang. One is running up here. Next one is staying. Uh, we've got a five to here, and four is a stay. Now that I've lost my good dice, we're going to die. <laughs> All right, um, my turn. Time to do some search. Time to do some search. Or uh, Let's go ahead and try to do a distraction first. Uh, we're going to use a close call. Reroll one of those. Fudge. All right. Uh, block and a weak attack. Change that to a success. Which gives us one horror and one time. Oh. I hope it was worth it. I was really hoping that I'd get the two so that way I can be down in three dice. Oh, I forgot to look at what a Sony's thing is. Ooh, I need to focus on saving some folks, maybe. Um, so whenever you draw at least one item card, draw an extra card and choose one. You are immune to item trap cards. Yeah, you gotta save some people. All right, let's do a search. Gosh dang it. Short rest and a walk. Where am I at? Things of astonishment. I guess we're taking a 10 foot telescoping pole. Once per action phase, you may skip one space when moving. No effects are triggered in the skip space and no victims may follow you into or beyond the skip space. So I can pull them. All right, and I guess we'll stop there because don't want to. Oh, dang it! Uh, so you don't want to search again? I thought you'd both search us. I do, but I don't. I don't have anything in case I fail. Because you wasted it on that distraction. Yep. All right, so we're gonna take a close call. And this other distraction for one, two, three, four, and then a sprint. Alrighty, uh, killer's turn. I'm already here, uh, so she probably should have considered taking a guard. Probably. Good, good call. Not doing well, that. Technically, target the victim first. So we're going to do that. Even if they're in the same spot as you? Mm hmm Okay. Because it, it's victim first. Mm -hmm. So, another one gone, and another one gone. Another one to the other side. All right. Um, we're going up. Terror card. Where the hell did the blades come from? Place the... Spinning floor blade trap token in your space. Immediately apply the trap's effects. See the reference card to you and any victims in your space. All right, so spinning floor blade trap. It's in my space. 
So, for the spinning four blade prep, roll two dice for each result. Do the following one through four, take one damage. Five to six, you may move one space. I don't want to move a space. And I also don't want to take damage. But I got two fours, so that's two damage. But I only have to do that when I enter the space. Correct. Right? So I could still do a search here. Um all right. So that's killer phase done. Oh, for each one through four that I rolled, horror goes up. So much for getting that under control. You did a good job. Uh, panic phase. I've got three. So first one is a five. It's going to be here. Next one is a four. Back to the big top. And last one is a six up here. We've got four in the big top for the upkeep phase. There's so much panicking. There it is. So we got two fives and one and a two. And that guy dies. Does he? Yep. Is that? Yep. All right. So uh, my turn now, I guess. And you want to do the search first. Man, I'm almost three dice just for the sake of almost being dead. Uh, two. Do I want to? I do. I'm gonna try to re-roll that. I don't know what the hell is up with my rolling today. Like every time I've tried to roll, I've just thrown the dice wherever. So take the top item card. It's first aid kit. Nice. Um, every time you use an action card to recover health, recover an additional heart. That'll at least be helpful. Eventually. Eventually. And minus time. Uh, now we'll do a distraction. And that's one horror, one time back. And I guess we'll stop there. So free ones back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, take a search. Mm, nine and 10. Okay, right, uh, killer's turn. You're going to kill one of these guys. And terror card. It burns, it burns. Place the acid trap token in my space. Immediately apply the trap's effects. Woohoo, that's this one. Well, at least being here. <laughs> I get this. So, acid trap, you lose one health. And, nope, two horde. Oh, bugger. Oh, yep, because that was. From there panic phase two five three two nope just one of you five and a three to the big top they are going to continue running this way probably not a bad idea probably not. <laughs> uh my turn yeah all right so let's do a focus which is already over here for some reason that we won't talk about. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Do a close call. And I guess we'll disclose, I forgot that I had an extra die and restarted this. And 
rolled two ones. Give up a lock and the other focus. Change one of these to a success. It's still minus one, but our horror is out. Gonna do our search action, but I get three dice now. Do a weak attack and walk. Change this to a success, that way. Oh, I suppose I should go over what that was. I guess. So with two, that allows me to take two top to ID, two item cards, which is only two left, and I can choose which one I want. So I'm going to take the super lucky dice, because the other one was a trap, and I don't care which one it was, because it's not going to matter anymore. <laughs> At least there's that going for this one. Theoretically, there could be fewer things to search through. Uh, use this to re-roll any or all the dice. Then roll one die and do the following. Discard card or keep card. Nice. Very nice. Um, go ahead and try a distraction while we're... Uh, Got a good amount of dice here. Oh, do I want to go ahead and risk it? For a brisket? Or just take the one success? And lose the one time? Well, it's going to nullify because I'm gaining a time. Mm. So we're just going to go ahead and take the one horror. That was at three, right? Sure. All right. Uh, I've got a sprint. I've got nothing else to take, though. So I guess we'll take another sprint. See, this is what I get for opening my stupid mouth. And the other close call. That I burned through my entire hand. <laughs> yeah, but now where do I want to go? I think I'm going to go over here to the House of Horrors next. Because then I can grab two and save them on the way. I think that's a good idea. Actually, it's one, two, three. So if I can get three movement, I could save all four of them through the clown car for some reason. <laughs> all right, killer phase. There's somebody right here already. So bloop, dead. Um, or up, but sand, you know, the exception of terror cards, which we're on now. The shadows are closing in if there are no victims on the board and draw the next terror card. Otherwise, two horror, boop, boop, uh, target victim move and stab. That one's gone. Discard the next terror card. All right, panic phase, nobody to panic. Nobody to upkeep for once. <laughs> and my turn. So I guess we're gonna go for a sprint. All right, so I can move up to three spaces. One. Two. Oh, uh, I forget the rule. No, because they're just going as I'm moving through, right? So we're going to take. Shoot. Gosh dang it. <sighs> Two dice. Well, put yourself back where you were. I hate my life. I hate how stupid I am sometimes. It's getting such a habit with this. Close call. Minus two time. That works. One, 
two, take the two with me, saving them. So I'm going to horror twice. That's what remind, reminded me that I had to. Then I'm going to move one space back. And we're going to do another sprint. Don't forget to lose the time for that one. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. Shh. Trying to accidentally cheat here in all kinds of ways. So we're seeing, you know. Well, we're going to move. Oh, dang it. Take the fill because we don't have any other choice. Move one space with them. Going to take an ouchie. Doesn't quite kill us. Does that stop my phase two or just the killer phase? Stops your phase two. Well, this interesting predicament. <laughs> so do I still save them or do I have to wait until next round? I don't know. We'll go with wait till next round. Because really, they got there. We can wait until next round. All right. All right. So I'm going to take a close call. And a search for our three. Okay, uh, killer phase. We move four. I suppose this is about best option. One, two, three. Kill. Oh, oh shoot. I had already died anyways. Yeah? Yeah. How did you already die anyways? With that last, with this one. Yeah? Yeah. How so? Because I take a damage when it goes up. I forgot about that. So I took my damage for that to at least balance out that way. Gosh, so much going on in this game for some reason today. <laughs> you made a mess of this game. I did. Took my damage for this one. Discard the next terror card. What? Nothing. I'm just trying to keep up with where you are. Me too. I mean, it. it is what it is. Nobody knows what's going on. I don't think I'm winning this one. No, you're not. Where the hell did this storm come from? Lightning strikes your space in each space adjacent to you. One victim in each space is killed, and you lose a heart. Equal to the poltergeist current. So I just died. Well, well at least these are short, right? Just on the bright side. You went over 30 minutes this time. So let's see where she was at. In there. Oh, which is where I was going. Yeah, but I, I don't think I would have ever gotten her. She was the second one down. Third. Because the crystal ball was on top. You had the still bear trap and then Carolyn. That was at least two searches to get to her. Although with the oh no, the crystal ball lets me look at the terror cards. And I didn't even use any of my stuff. Well this was kind of this was kind of terrible. Yeah. You kinda of failed this one quite epically. Just a little bit. In more ways than one. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. But that's alright. I'm going to figure out how to get her out next time. So anyways, uh, that's been me still not saving Carolyn. I didn't even get to the finale. <laughs> yeah, you did super good this time. Not for lack of trying, though. And not for lack of cheating, either. No, I tried to do that super much. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Um... If you found this helpful in any way, other than, you know, something to laugh at. <laughs> this one helped. No. Honestly, some people might not even put it up because it's such a mess, but we're honest here. We are honest here. That's why I'm not going to re-record this. Totally. <laughs> um, there's also a few ways down below to support us. And, yeah. I don't think I finished that statement earlier.
Is that statement relevant now? Yeah, if you found this helpful in any way, share it with somebody else. <laughs> okay, let's see if what we got going on here. Well, there's that. Linda on a end on a high note. <laughs>